In this tutorial, I am going to discuss a programming problem to group anagrams together. So the problem statement is given an array of strings, we have to write a code to group anagrams together. And what is anagrams? So two strings are said to be anagram of each other if it contains the same character. Remember, this is the important point. If it contains the same character, only the order of character in both the string is different. For example, if you see these two words car and rack, so both these words contain the same characters and only the order differs here. Now let's see uh, the input of this problem statement. Now suppose we have uh, given an array of strings. So, in, uh, so we have this array of strings and if we group them, then our output is this. So if you see the first group in which we have 8, eat and t. So both, I mean all these three words contains the same character, only the order differs. So if you see a, t, e uh, in this uh, string also the character a, t, e is present and in this word also, uh, in this string also the uh, character a, t, e is present. Similarly, if you see the second group in which character NAT is present in both the string and this is the third group in which only one string is there. So this is the problem statement and now let's think how we can solve this problem. Suppose we have given an array of strings and we have to group anagrams together. So how we can solve this problem so uh, what we can do is we can traverse this array of a string and we sort each string and then what we do is based on this string uh, based on the sorted string we can group the anagrams together as so if you know uh, the definition of anagrams then in anagrams uh, both the string contains the same character only their ordering is different so let's dry run our code so <coughs> i am traversing an array of string and the first string is eat let's sort it and after sorting we get this string e a t and what i am doing here is i am using a map data structure and in in this map i my key is a string and the value is list of a string as we have to group the anagrams and you can imagine a map is a key value storage so i have defined the type of key which is a string and my and its value is list of a string so the first string is eat we have converted into an array of characters then i have sorted this uh, array of character and then convert it back to a string so we get this string then i'm checking whether the map contains this key whether this key is present in a map no so in else condition i'm creating an array uh, so list of string and i'm adding this string and then we have put this key and value in a map so the so this is the key part and the value is this. So in value, we have the list of value. So the first value is eat. So let's say like this. Now the second string is T. Again, we sort this uh, a string and we get the following string. Then we check whether the map contains this key. Yes, we get this key. So what we do is we add this string. So we added this string, which is T. The next string is tan. Let's sort this string. So after sorting, we get A and T. So we get this string. So whether the map contains this uh, string, no. So then what we do is we go into else condition and we put 
this so this is the key and in value part so let's add tan so this is tan now the next string is ate let's sort this string we get this string and uh, does map contains this key yes so now we get one more word which is ate so a t e and <clears throat> the next the next string is an a t let's sort this string and we get this string is map contains uh, this key yes now let's put here an a t and the next string is bat so let's sort this string and its key is a b t is this key present in map no so let's put this key and the value is so a b t now after the complete traversal we came out of this loop and i have returned this grouped values so if you run this code so now let's run this code you can see the output we get uh, we have grouped all the anagrams together and if you see the main method so in main method i have declared an array of strings and i am calling this method and i have passed this string array as an argument and once we get the result i am printing the result part so uh, let's discuss its time complexity so sorting an array takes n log n time and so n log n times and this is for n number of strings so let's denote the length of string is l so the time complexity is l cross n log n so its time complexity is l cross n log n so that's it for uh, this video tutorial for more such programming tutorial you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video